It's your cat's birthday. Happy birthday, kitty. Guess we don't use the buddy system anymore. <laughs> Happy birthday, Yuna. Are you coming to me? Oh. Am I coming to you? Kronos is coming to me. Kronos also says happy birthday. Is it just me, or does that look like a giant skull? Like, that's not just me, right? Looks like a crater, likely the center of insanity. Uh, maybe. The giant skull, though, that that's throwing me off. Okay. Definitely a skull. Normal size skull. <laughs> okay, we cross the tree. We wipe off the chronosphere that's on my face. There we go. This is fine. Everything is fine. Okay, this is just a drop down. But I guess we don't have any other path to take, so... Well, that was delightfully creepy. Thank you, game. Hmm. Face carved on a stick. There's something here. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I hope it doesn't take me too far back. You let the kitty lick a bunch of whipped cream and gave her drugs for zoomies. Nice! Oh, good god, we're all the way back here. Ugh. Game, why you do this? Yeah, there's nothing there. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think... Yeah, we can't save it without finding notes. So when we get back over there, maybe we just have to keep looking for notes. Because that at least saves our progress. Slaps roof of a mountain. You can fit so many monsters in this thing. <laughs> On the plus side, too, we know where we're going now, so shouldn't be too far to get there, or too long to get there. here, around this way, and then 
Pathway to the west. There we go. Okay. Now we need to pay attention to try to find some um, some notes or pieces of paper or interesting things so that it can actually spawn on this side of the map. So we'll explore the lake area a little bit better than we did last time. Confused. Let's try this way. There we go. Anything over here? No. Okay, that's the entrance. There has to be a note or something over here. So that's a hell of a long way to walk. Oh, there's a broken bridge, so that's nice. And there's me getting stuck on scenery. Definitely stuck on scenery. Game. This is why you need a jump button. something just come along and kill me because I don't see an obvious way to load it. Your one knee, knee weakness, knee high grass. <laughs> uh, well, hopefully this doesn't... Hmm. I don't like the way this looks, but uh, let's see how this goes. Yeah, that's what happens to the hikers. There you go. Poor souls. They all got trapped in knee-high grass. You know, Pokemon warned us, stay out of the tall grass. Well, that's just annoying. Okay. I would hope it would at least spawn me where I saved it at the campsite, but no. That's like the worst time for that link to come up to. <laughs> like, you just witnessed a broken part of this game. Would you like to buy it? <laughs> okay, there's nowhere else I could actually be... I 
I kind of wonder if it would be easier for me to take a campsite, warp back to here, and then go north. So at least I would be on the right side of the river. Let's try that. Take me here. There we go. Now then. I need to go... Northwest. Of course, entirely possible I'm wrong, and uh, this will be a one-way exit or something. Paper. Paper, paper, paper. Anomalies do not exist. When almost 20 years ago I wrote about a strange anomaly occurring in my city, as a reminder, I reported spatial distortions between the buildings. They thought I was nuts. Since then, mankind has been witness to thousands of strange, mysterious, and unexplained events and phenomena around the world. A lot was documented and supported with hard evidence. Unfortunately, to this day, prominent scientists seem not to notice or simply underestimate the issue. We have asked Dr. Jarvis Northrum of the American University of Technology and Life Sciences Anomalies appearing practically around the globe is an undeniable fact. We know that at least several dozen of such events have taken place in Russia and the United States, but we have also received many reports of strange, extraordinary, and sometimes dangerous phenomena. Authorities must stop avoiding these issues because every year we, are reg we register an increase in these so-called anomalies occurring. I do not know what causes them, but frequently the repercussions are tragic. Add to that the helpless attempts to cover up these events by the governments of particular countries that are just becoming more and more pathetic. In 1998, Kremlin officially denied that the uh, Special Natural Phenomena Research Unit established in the 50s was to deal with the anomalies in any way. Rather pointed way to say that, but okay. have to head south before I can head further north. Okay. One of these days I'll figure out what the hell that giant red, red light is, too. You know, since he seems to think or it seems to think the game, or the game th seems to think that he's up here. Maybe I'll save that one for later. <laughs> because I don't want to run into, you know, him yet. But there is 37... There's 3762. It's kind of here-ish. Which apparently I walked right by. Yeah, okay. It says on the Wikipedia page, people hiking about 50 kilometers south saw strange orange globes hovering in the sky. Interesting. Yeah, actually it mentions that in one of the articles as well. Touch the space rock. The sun is just starting to set. I see it like I am there myself. As if I'm 
standing there in the middle of the forest. I'm not sure what is going on with reality. I'm writing with my own blood on a tree, with my own name, and Todd. Oh, no, not mine. His. Interesting. The sun is just starting to set. Orange mist. Orange mist all around. I, I see their bodies coming out of the woods. I hear a scream. A horrific scream of terror. Is that my voice? I think it is. Where is Anton? Where did he come from? How did he get in? The sun is just starting to set. He is in me. He's in my head. He's coming in through my eyes. The eyes are windows to the soul. He has no soul. Where is Anton? I am dropping in a bottomless abyss, falling into the past. Dead and rotting hands are catching me on my way down. I can feel them whisper into my ear. Now you are ours. You will never leave us. I'm calling him. I'm calling Anton. Where is Anton? I don't know. I see nothing. My eyes are overflowing with blood. I have to escape. I have to run away. I have to start running. The sun is just starting to set. Well, that's delightfully creepy. Thank you very much. Uh. Uh. Um... Right! Get the fuck out of that circle. <laughs> right, run. Running is the answer. Try to catch up. Try to catch up. Yeah, which way are we heading right now? Heading kind of southwest-ish. Ah, I lost him. Damn it. You can't say there was no warning. True. I was enjoying the pretty lock rocks floating around. It's fun. Guess let's say kind of over here ish. No, actually, probably down here. I don't actually know. I have chosen you. you I see you, Beanie. Just like me. But you are losing your mind, my friend. You're slipping slowly into the abyss, and there is no one to give you a hand. And at the bottom. I am the only one waiting for you. Okay. Sean Bean is waiting for me at the bottom of this. It's good to know. Ah. 
there's the glowing mountain top. Okay, there's paper on that bridge. But I can't get to it from here. Check out the other side, see if I can get around over there. <laughs> this can't be good, right? Sure, it's fine. Okay, there's a bunch of different pages around here somewhere. But I think they're both above me. Twenty-seven fifty-two. Okay. Twenty seven fifty-two. That's death. There we go. There's one. The weather is pretty good. We have the wind at our back. We arranged with the locals that they will give us a ride to the location of the second camp. We helped them unload the carts and waited for the horses. At approximately 4 p.m. we set off to continue our journey. We managed to replenish food supplies so we could eat something on our way there. The horses are moving slowly. It's making me sleepy. It's getting dark. The second camp was an abandoned village. We found a house to stay at overnight. In total darkness, we started setting up a fireplace. Everyone cut themselves on nails sticking out of the boards. Apart from that, everything was okay. Then, it all started. Okay then. It's not creepy at all. Um, terrifying one-way rope bridge. There we go. There it is. Oh, son of a... <laughs> right then. No way there. Um... If we take the rope bridge, there might be a way around here? Like, there has to be, right? Because otherwise you can't... Because you can't jump, so... Oh, 
All right. Let's see if we can go down to the rope bridge. get up to you. Possibly looking good so far, but then again. Okay, no idea. Alright then, where am I? Here. Well, there's a couple more landmarks down on this side of the map. Um, 51 and 30. Excuse me, stop by that. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah. Uh -huh. And then there's 6247, so those are kind of close to each other. Another one's right here. So. It's south, I suppose. I do hate missing bits of story like that, but I didn't see a way to get to it. Has Sean Bean died yet? <laughs> Sean Bean's killing us, which is a nice twist. How you doing, Arcane? Let's see, from those pillars... I take my first opportunity to go right. This should be right. Okay, this hopefully is going in the right direction. No idea if it is or not. Doing good? Excellent. If I had to guess, I would say this is the same trail that I chased the ghost lady down. Not entirely positive about that. Yeah, it definitely is. Okay, so... Let's try this path. I think. Yeah, why not? And then this way. It got dark. Okay, I'd rather have the storm than pitch black, so I'll take that. Um, let's try this way. Atmosphere. He's Sean chasing you because you spilled his pint. <laughs> it's a 
fair fair reason to chase somebody to be fair um no this is uh if you look up the colot disappearances this is kind of taking that and running with it that would make a great video game that's absolutely true Lawrence. <laughs> Paper, 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 paper. And camping supplies. Caution, a psychopath on the loose. A dangerous criminal has escaped from the Moscow Mental Institute. We must, we have been informed the man is completely insane or delusional. Interesting. Hey, sniper bug, how you doing? Nice to get you streaming again. I haven't been able to drop in lately. Glad I could tonight. Yeah, me as well. Welcome to a really weird game. Is this note about you? It could be. No idea. Okay, where was that note, by the way? Right here. Okay, so. We are here. And we want to be down here. So, due south is actually where we want to be. Can't quite get there. It's okay. Okay. Oh, the orange mist is back. And they're all going towards the church. Okay. Something's following me. There he is. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go this way. Actually, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, so there's a church over here somewhere. I'm guessing that's what this is. Have to go all the way around to the south to get there. Okay, so I have to go by that guy. go southeast, which is this way. And you stay there. Crap. <laughs> I don't know if you spotted me or not. Definitely a paper out here somewhere. Crap sounds about right. Well, fair enough. There it is. Confidential correspondence of Section 22 scientists. Doctor, name confidential. I tested subject number confidential. They did not show any supernatural skills. You had to make a mistake. Sincerely, Doctor, name confidential. Doctor, name confidential. I agree with you. The second test do not show any skills. We may deem the experiment concluded and unsuccessful. The subject should be removed. We will prepare transport to Valdemir 30. 
please destroy any documentation and correspondence. Sincerely, Doctor and Confidential. All right, then. It's weird because I'm a man named Sean watching a man named Sean run from a guy voiced by Sean. Right? <laughs> There's a whole lot of Sean's going on. Oh, not that way. Um... See, this is... Yes, this is right. Okay. Seanceptions. <laughs> you shan't say. <laughs> Okay, so we're not going this way. Or that way. Alright. So we found the last note here. According to this, we should be able to loop around and find a bridge over the gap. To the south. that's assuming that I'm north of there. So let's see over here. If there was one more Sean in that equation, the universe would fold in on itself. <laughs> okay, but we definitely want to be going south. I'm confused, game. Why must you confuse me? Okay, so this is where we found the note. There should be a bridge to the south somewhere. Let's just keep going this way and see what we find. Would it count if I was eating beans? <laughs> okay, that looks more like a path. No, this is a river. Okay, we've encountered a river. Which means we're probably around here somewhere. the Sean that caused the event horizon was Sean the sheep. <laughs> I was watching some of those recently. They're quite fun. I am more than a little lost. Which isn't new for this game. Um, this looks promising. What if Sean the Sheep was then shorn? <laughs> 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 
There's the rope bridge. Okay, we're fine. You have to go faster. I don't have a lot of time left. You have to hurry. Find the way. Find me, or I'll unleash hell upon you. Okay, Cini Beanie is not not happy. Things are falling. Move, move faster. Oh god. Okay, the orange mist is still coming. Church is up ahead of me somewhere. There it is. That would create the Omni Sean. <laughs> Oh god, the smoke's back. Get inside. Get in. This might not have been my best idea ever. a shell, and I am ready to absorb him. Now I see the plan. I see the magnitude of devastation. The creator summons me, and I want to be his food. I am humming his tune. I am looking at the world through his eyes. I drink the blood of his enemies and taste the rotting bodies. I feel the sin sprouting under my skin. In my head. I hear them calling me. I hear the calling of the ones that through him have already found their eternal shelter. Free them, my lord! Free them! And take me instead! Fulfill your revenge! At the hour of my death, an army of angels comes out from the orange light. Their song is made of one powerful. Their twisted faces, their black eyes drilling into my consciousness. They demand to finish the work. Oh, his presence is overcoming me. So poor and defenseless. What have they done to you? What harm? There is a place. You were there, and so was I. A huge gate, and the creator hidden behind it. Only those few who touched him could understand, but you could. You understood, and I understood through you. Interesting. Totally changes the narrative if you say you're being chased by Mr. Bean. <laughs> Okay, so orange mist, probably still bad, but it does seem to be napping off. So yeah, that was the Sean Bean monster sitting here and wailing on the bell in order to get us to come in here, which is interesting. And 
162.47. Right here. So I need to go southeast. Okay, not not this way southeast. Although it looks like there's some wooden structures over there. This game is oddly compelling. Like most of the time I would play games like this that were so disjointed that I have no idea what's going on and be kind of bored. But this game, I'm uh, I'm actually really enjoying. Ah, right. Just um, go out to here. We're at uh, 68 North 34. Really wish I could jump. As he said, winter is coming yet. <laughs> Let me see if there's controls I missed. Uh, key bindings. And... Nope. Okay. So 6834 is where we're at. Okay, we're right down here. But in order to go more east, That's blocked. So I need to go back the way I came. Back to the church. And then this way, I think. I think. I mean, at least that looks like that would be accurate, right? I can climb that, but I don't think I can. Just follow the sound of the Hound of, oh, of Horn of Gondor. Perfect. That's what we'll do. Hi, right, Spanky! Thank you very much for the raid! Let me give you a quick shout out here. There we go. Welcome in, everybody. We are currently playing Colot. I am Leftosian. I'm a variety streamer. And uh, let's see, you were doing just chatting. Did I miss a reading? Or were you doing artwork? Welcome in, uh, Bam Bam and... What did I miss? Germ. Nice. Oh, you were reading. Damn, I missed it. <laughs> Got an encore. What were you reading? I know you were finishing Dracula. We're reading more Dracula. Okay, cool. So we are playing Colot, which is... A game that is investigating the actual disappearances of the people on the Kolot Mountains. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can go ahead and Google that. It's fascinating. We're reading too. I mean, there is a lot of reading in this game, that's true. 
Plus, Sean Bean is the monster, and he keeps talking to us. So, I mean, that's delightful. Okay, what do we have here? Alive corpses in Siberia. Was there a top-secret facility where scientists work on reviving the dead? Several elements would suggest that this is the case. We are in Inia, the town in Siberia. Here, there was supposed to be the institute where decades ago the most brilliant minds were to accomplish the impossible, revive corpses. Nowadays, in place of the complex, there are only ruins. It is difficult to determine that exactly, or what exactly was here. Till this day, we can stumble upon things resembling medical equipment, but it is clear that there was no hospital here. As the elder locals recall, one day the military came, marked out an area, set up a construction site, and it took them several years to build it. One building after another, people were happy because there was work. But as soon as they finished, the military surrounded the area with barbed wire fences and forbade to even walk in the vicinity. I remember trucks pulling up and soldiers unloading some equipment. Behind there was a large lot where huge delivery vehicles pulled up. People said those were refrigerated trucks. It had been going on like that for no more than a dozen years and nothing happened. Two or three years before they closed it down, some weird things had occurred. We saw them transporting people to the facility, and the whole village heard screaming in the middle of the night. As if they were murdering people. One day, it just stopped. The trucks left. The military stayed for a while. Engineers came. They tore the whole thing to the ground, and that was it. What could have been in that facility? When asked about a possible explanation, Dr. Lidgiv, uh, an eminent historian, says, It was not unusual for the previous government to build a facility hidden deep in the corners of Siberia. It does not have to have anything to do with any paranormal fairy tale, but merely with classified military activity. Although historical sources remain silent about the Inia village and any military facilities or scientists in the area, it totally contradicts the inhabitants' stories. We became aware of existing documents that could shed light on the case. An extract from a correspondence where the names of the sender and receiver are censored mentions about a facility in the middle of Siberia where the military sends well-preserved bodies and convicts in refrigerator trucks for further research. Furthermore, the author writes, I do hope you will manage to do something with them, because the mountain is becoming impatient, and one alive is not enough. Well, that's terrifying. Thank you, game. Right then. Where the hell are we? Uh, down here. Okay, so it looks like we might be able to round our way to the other side of that collapse, if I'm very, very lucky. I don't think that's going to be the case, but... Let's give it a shot, anyway. Where am I heading? South? Heading southwest. I don't want to head southwest, do I? Hold on. Get my bearings. <laughs> uh, okay, so we are here. They set up a facility to revive Sean Bean. He did die. There you go. That solves it. <laughs> uh, it's entirely possible that we're not going to be able to get past this area without going back around the way we came, which doesn't sound fun. We'll give it a shot. I often wonder if he reads a script and sees that he dies in the end and he's just like, ugh, again? <laughs> Kind of threw myself off a mountain there, it's fine. I keep 
hearing a paper somewhere around here. Also wolves, but I mean... head in this kind of direction. I'm back in the tree. Damn it. <laughs> okay, so from here, if I go north, if I go northeast, then I'll end up over this way. Hopefully. So let's try that. The official Sean Bean revival to fill this facility. There you go. This is where he keeps coming back from. Off you go now, Sean, and this time don't die horrifically. <laughs> okay, and that takes us to the collapse. So, it looks like right about here there's a collapse. So, I do need to go back and around. Because, yeah, currently I am at 58.25. Fifty eight. Fifty What? Okay, according to the game, I'm over here. That. No, that doesn't make any sense. No, that has to be a clue for something else. So, okay, let's go this away. Lasted quite a while on Silent Hill too. He did. Let's see here. Oh, there's a campsite. That's going to be good news. Yes. I am... There we go. Okay. So somehow I'm over here. <laughs> good night, Roxanne. Thank you very much for the lurk. Hope you enjoyed the show. And lurking like a creepo. No worries. Uh, if we head south from here, it would kind of make sense that we would be able to cross the bridge, right? Hope you have a good night, Roxanne. bridge over there is collapsed. So, okay. We are looking... We must be looking over there. But that would mean that there's a back way. Huh. I've got a better idea all of a sudden. Let's use the campfire to warp out of here. Because the 6247 is the only other one we have to get, which is right down here, um, before we head back up into this crater area that we died in. I 
kind of want Sean Bean to cameo as a red shirt on Star Trek. That would be brilliant. Right. Game, take me... here. Now, I want to go east from here. Let's go this way. Not that way. So I can head due north, which is fine. And over there is also fine. Okay. There should be another pathway from here to go left. I believe. Somewhere. Excellent. The bridge is out. <laughs> Let's check out the series Sharp. Okay. I wonder if I can... No, that's not going to work, is it? Okay, so I can't go that way. Which means I probably can't get back to where I want to be from here. So... I have an idea. 